Hey guys, welcome back to One All's Pub. All right, well, another bar top review here. This one of kind of a uh, special knife. Uh, you might recognize it as a, uh, just from the general looks of it, as a Benchmade Griptilian. You'd also notice that it's a two-tone here, dual colors. Um, this is OD green, and this is neon green. And uh, it's a custom Griptilian that I picked up direct from Benchmade's website. You, know, you can go on their website and build that little, they have a little custom knife builder where you can do the um, the Griptilian and the, oh, what's the other one? I think it's the 584. I can't remember the name for it now off the top of my head. But at any rate, um, uh, it's, it's the speed assist. Oh, what is it? I'm sure uh, the little guy here is going to pop up with an answer. Um, anyway, uh, the uh, I'm not much interested in speed assist, uh, as I've well documented on my channel here. But uh, the opportunity to kind of custom order a Griptilian as I wanted color-wise and, and kind of make it fun uh, was more than I could than I could pass. Um, and what's kind of neat about these is not only can you get custom order your scales and what color your hardware is, your clip and the access lock and the pivot and all that, you also get the custom order of the steel. Uh, 154CM is, of course, the standard Griptilian steel. Uh, you can get uh, D2 uh, S30 for an extra 10 bucks, S30V for an extra 20 bucks, and N680, I think, for an extra 15 bucks, I think. I don't know. I wasn't interested in that. Uh, but I was interested in upgrading either to uh, D2 or S30V, and because I have so many knives in S30V, I thought this is a good opportunity to get something in D2. Um, so I upgraded to uh, from CPM one, or excuse me, not CPM, just from regular 154 CM to the D2 uh, steel. And not only do you get to choose your steel in this custom ordering process, you can also add your own custom graphics to it. Now, if you follow me on Instagram. You've already seen this, so no surprise. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're going to have to deal with it. The custom One Alls Pub Griptilian. With my little uh, leprechaun character there, who you'll find also up here in my, my logo. And on the back side, if we can get the light to play fair here, a shamrock and the... Uh, Irish toast that I end all my videos with, sláinte. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's a little wild and crazy. Um, as uh, Rob, uh, the Apostle P, said when I got it, uh, and I'm quoting here, or well, at least paraphrasing, but you'll get the idea, uh, quote, that knife is so you, <laughs> end quote. And it is. I just, uh, when I saw that I could do this, and I was just goofing around with it on the website, and I grabbed my logo here and stripped it of color and got it back to black and white and uh, uploaded it on there and placed it on there and found out that I could do it and I would take it and do, uh, it, 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 they could build it this way. I'm like, man, I got to do it. Now, it's not cheap. Your standard Griptilian nowadays you're going to buy with 154CM, you're going to buy for about 100 bucks, just under. I see them all over the place for about 97 bucks nowadays. They used to be a little cheaper than that, but their prices have gone up. Now you see them right around 97, 98 bucks. Um, throw some D2 on it, figure that's just a $10 upgrade regardless. So now you're up to 107 bucks. Um, this was 140. So you're paying Benchmade's full retail price, you know, plus the, uh, the steel upgrade price, but really they don't really charge you for the graphics per se, other than the fact that you're paying their full, um, retail price. There's not like a surcharge you know, on the invoice or, or when you're building it. You don't, it doesn't add cost to, to do the graphic or to, uh, to pick your custom scale colors. You know, the, whether you don't have to go two-tone, obviously. Um, I just did because, uh, I just, it's, I just wanted this knife to kind of be over the top. Um, and indeed it is. Uh, so that's the custom, um, <laughs> custom Griptilian, one all's pub custom Griptilian. Um, uh, I, I just have to say it. Uh, Campfire Talk, when he saw this or, or initially, uh, told me it, it has to have a, a crazy nickname. And One All's Pub Custom Gratillion just isn't going to cut it. So um, I think we're going to nickname this guy uh, Milaki Charm. Hi, they're always after Milaki Charm. <laughs> it's magically delicious. <laughs> Okay, I had to get that out of the way. Sorry, and that no doubt will be the title of this video. Um, but all the custom stuff aside, at the core, it's still just a basic, good old-fashioned Benchmade Griptilian with the access lock. 
And uh, I do have to say, I'm very impressed with this knife. Uh, now, maybe it's because it comes through the custom shop there and it gets a little extra attention because they know you're paying a premium for what you're uh, ordering direct from them. Maybe it gives a little uh, extra attention to detail. I don't know. But this is the best Benchmade knife I've ever held. Not that I'm a huge Benchmade fan and have held tons and tons and tons of them. As a matter of fact, I've kind of had a little bit of an odyssey with some of the Benchmades that I have held and or owned. Um, and, uh, but this guy, he's, uh, he's very well built. Absolutely rock solid. Nothing going on up or down, side to side. Very smooth action. I have it set up just a hair tighter than free dropping, but just with just a little bump it does free drop very nicely and we'll, you know, go right back into the, into the handle. Um, I found that in my case, just with my bench maids, if, if I set them up to free drop, I always get a little bit of blade play. And, and I just, that's just the, you know, my pet peeve. That's the boogeyman to me. And I just I hate blade play, side to side blade play. Um, so uh, if I tweak them just a hair, maybe they don't free drop, but they'll still close with just the slightest little, uh, just the slightest little provocation there um, seems to be uh, best for me. So, um, but, uh, and it's just dead centered perfect, which is another thing that I have struggled with bench baits that I've either owned and or uh, personally held uh, in, in knife shops and whatnot. Uh, and maybe it helps that it's two tone and maybe when the guy's centering it, because you have the light and the dark on each side, it's real easy to see where that demarcation line is as you're uh, trying to center the blade. I don't know, but simple fact of the matter is it's an extremely well-built bench made. Uh, to the Griptilian format itself, uh, really like it a lot. Actually, the ergonomics on it are extremely good. Um, the name Griptilian is well uh, applied. It is very grippy, even though it's a, um, what was it, Norl GTX or whatever, FRN, handled. Uh, it is very grippy. Now, this particular part right here isn't super, you know, that's kind of slick, but this texturing here and the little jimp, jimping that they've got molded into the to the underside of the handle here and uh, in the jimping right here, this actually works. I mean, how often do you get a bench made where that stuff is actually gives you some grip? As a matter of fact, it's better than what's up here on the blade. Um, but just all around, this knife just, it sinks into the hand and it grips really well, hence the name Griptilian. Um, so yeah, really impressed with the overall build quality and the overall design of this knife. Now what G10 handles or micarta handles or carbon fiber or whatever, blah, 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 insert your premium handle material, be great? Sure they would. Uh, would I have loved to have that as an ordering option? You dang right I would. That said, with the FRN or Norl GTX or whatever, it gives you the option to kind of go crazy with the colors, much more so um, probably than um, you would with other handle materials. So that's kind of cool, and it keeps the cost down uh, on what's already kind of a pricey uh, griptilian anyway. Uh, I did order it with all the black hardware, black uh, access lock, black line, liners and everything, um, and uh, black uh, oxide clip, not the painted clip. Um, and really just <laughs> enjoying the heck out of this. I also put it on the Wicked Edge. Let's see if we can get a close-up here for you all. If I can get to focus. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. You can kind of see there. I, I put it at 18 degrees per side. Uh, the D2 was very uh, fr friendly to sharpen and took a really nice polish. And, oh, brother, is it sharp. Really dig the blade style too. Um, it's kind of a, they call it a drop point, uh, which it is uh, for sure. Um, uh, but it's very, almost a spear point. I mean, it does, the belly does come up just a little bit more, but it's very reminiscent of like a spear point almost that you would see on, um, on uh, like a recon one, a coastal recon one or mini recon one. Uh, but it does have just a little bit more belly, so it is truly a drop point. But a uh, nice swedge on the top. Um, nice thick, not overly thick, but sturdy stock. Um, Bert will, of course, by now, if he hasn't already, uh, will have given us the specs on this bad boy. If not, then Bert, please, uh, attend to that now. Uh, all in all, just very impressed with the, uh, the format and the actual, this individual knife. And, um, uh, one of the things you hear about, and you can hear it right there, the grip telling is that it sounds kind of cheap when it, when you close it and it hits in here because the liners on the grip are not, let me see if I can get, shine this in here. Get my uh, my trusty Olight here. Uh, Olight. There 
there you go. The i3s EOS. One of my mini OLEDs here. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see in here or not, but you, there you go. You can kind of see that that there's the liners are not uh, fully the full length of the knife. It's not fully lined. Um, they're really about they go back about this far, and and they don't even go the full length and they come or the full width of the handle and come around. They actually kind of trail down to like a point, kind of like about like so. So it leaves kind of this last quarter of the handle pretty. It's just being just you know, plastic or fiberglass or reinforced nylon or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that kind of has a tendency to make it, give it a little bit of a, a cheaper sound. It kind of echoes when it hits in there. Um, I knew about that going in, so I wasn't um, too concerned about it. Had I not known that, I could see that that might have bugged me. But because I knew about it and had known about it for quite some time, and was kind of one of the reasons why initially maybe I shied away from the Griptilian, um, that and my... Uh, until recent, uh, you know, the last few months, um, opinion on FRN, I uh, referenced my uh, recently posted F, uh, video on, on on my changing attitudes towards uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon. Um, but, uh, you know, that would probably was one of the things that held me back from getting one of these was just, the, you know, the cheap feel, the cheap sound maybe. Um, but because I was well aware of that and still decided to get it, I was prepared for it. And it's really not only not been an, an issue for me, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, shut up, little man. But I kind of like it. It's, it gives it a nice thwack, and um, I'm kind of digging it. So uh, no issues there for me. All in all, very impressed with the knife. Uh, again, if you guys, you know, you don't have to, when you custom order me, you don't have to put graphics on the blade or whatnot. You can just put words on there. You don't have to upload an, an image. They have some stock images you can pull from and whatnot. Um, and you can just go crazy with all kinds of stuff. I mean, frankly, this... You know, I realized that my little uh, my little leprechaun logo there is a bit um, is a bit uh, cartoonish, and, and sticking it on a on a blade like that might be a little odd. Um, again, though, it's my logo, so why not? Uh, but boy, some of the crazy patterns that you can upload directly from the uh, Benchmade website are even crazier. So, uh, all things considered, this is a relatively uh, Get it situated here if I can. It's a relatively uh, docile looking knife compared to what all you could do <laughs> um, with the uh, with the Benchmade Custom Knife Builder. Anyway, go to Benchmade and check it out. It's pretty fun. If you again, you know, you're going to pay a premium for it for sure. Um, but I suspect that because of that premium, you not only get um, you know the the choice of all the colors and the graphics and stuff that you want to add, but I think you might, at least in my case, I think I got a really well built knife and maybe coming through that little custom shop of theirs you get a little extra attention to detail and i'm one for one if i ever get another one we'll see if it shows up just as well or if other people have ordered these and can chime in down below maybe um that's been their experience or not that would be fine let's uh you know let us know um but all in all i gotta say me and my custom grip me lucky charm we are digging it all right that's one all two cents guys keep the change slauncha